This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey what's going on everyone, this is Harry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iPhone automations that you can create on your iPhone running iOS 14. These are of course super useful and you will probably use most of them on daily basis. Now alongside with these automations I will also show you guys the step by step process on how to create each and every one of these automations. Now before we get into the automation another process that's really really important is the process of you liking this video. That helps out a lot and makes this video do much much better so always make sure you smash that like button. All right, so let's start off with the first one. Now, of course, to create an automation, you go to the shortcuts app and go to the automation section. Now, the first one is very useful for me. Every time I go to my car, I just connect my iPhone, of course, to the car's Bluetooth. Always, it will show automatically the Apple Music app. I never use it, I use Spotify. How can I fix that easily? Go here to create personal automation and go to Bluetooth tap on device and choose the device name right there. So that's the Bluetooth of my car. Then tap next, tap on add action, tap right here on scripting. If you're on iOS 14, just search for scripting right there and tap on open app. You can even search for open app. And then all I gotta do here is just choose the app. So let's just search for Spotify. So here we have Spotify, tap the next button tap done and we're good to go. Now every time my Bluetooth, the Bluetooth of my device connects to the car, it will automatically open Spotify. But that's not all. I can also make my iPhone play a certain playlist automatically when I connect to the Bluetooth of my car or maybe my AirPods, whichever Bluetooth device I want. So what you need to do is go to Spotify and go to one of your playlists, tap the three dots right there and make sure to tap on the share button and just tap here on copy a link. Once you have done that, you go to shortcuts, go to automations, tap right here, create personal automation. In this case, we're going to Bluetooth device. Here I have my car's Bluetooth, tap done, and then tap next, tap on add action, and just search for open URL. So here we have web open URLs. It has this little Safari icon. We tap right there tap on URL right there and just paste the URL you just copied, click next, click done, and you're good to go. Now, every time you connect to the Bluetooth of your car, it will automatically go to that playlist. A lot of people nowadays have Apple watches and of course, most of them probably use them for like fitness stuff. You wanna track your calories, you wanna track of course, your exercises at the gym or anywhere. So what you can do with that is of course, set a watch face which is better for you when you're like exercising. Of course, it has more complications that will show you on the screen what's happening. Now you can set an Apple Watch face automatically based on the location you're at. So what you need to do is tap the plus button and create personal automation. And right here, what I can do is arrive. So in this case, I just want to choose the location here, tap on choose location. You can choose any location you want there. I can choose, of course, the location of my gym in this case. And when I go there, I will basically have the watch face set automatically. So let's just go ahead and set that. So here we have a location. So let's just go with that. Tap next and then tap on add action and search for set watch face so here it is set watch face and tap on face right there and you will have of course a list of the watch faces that you have enabled on your watch face you can choose one of them and then of course that will be set automatically once you arrive at that location now a lot of people of course prefer playing games on their iphone and of course if you do that you don't want to get disturbed well, when you're playing a game or just even using an, a specific app, you can set automatically do not disturb on. Now the way to do that, you go tap the plus button, create personal automation and find here app. So in this case, we want to just choose a random app here. We can choose a game or whatever it is. So I don't really have a lot of games here. So let's just go with an app here. So let's just go with Amazon, click done and then click next and just search for DND. 
so here we have in this case we have set focus but it will be do not disturb on ios 14 and then just go ahead and turn on right there until turned off click next and disable this right here don't ask and click done now you can create another one which basically does the opposite thing so when you exit that app it will turn it off automatically so you don't have to do that manually another thing you can do when playing a game or maybe opening a specific app like youtube for example if you give your iphone or maybe your ipad to your kid or something like that you can turn on guided access so it will lock on that app automatically and you can do the same thing basically create a personal automation and then go ahead and choose the app here tap here so let's just choose an app and then click on next and search here for guided access so here we have start guided access just like that click on next disable this always make sure you disable this so it will run automatically click done and you're good to go and now let's take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video squarespace squarespace gives you a powerful and beautiful online platform to create your website connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content easily manage your members send email communications and leverage your audience insights and all of that in one easy to use platform you can create a community on your squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments replies and likes as well with squarespace you get very powerful e-commerce capabilities but you can also extend them using squarespace extensions and these third-party tools will help you manage your inventory promote your products and even file sales tax go ahead and give it a try by going to squarespace.com get a free trial and when you're ready to launch your website go ahead and go to squarespace slash ireviews to save 10 percent on your first purchase of a website or a domain you will find the links right down below in the description of the video now with ios 14 apple has added some very useful actions on the automation section so basically we have the ones for battery and chargers as well so a pretty cool one is right here for the battery so let's say you just plug in your device to charge you leave it there you want your iphone to tell you when your device is fully charged so here we have basically battery level you go here you just go all the way up so equals 100 percent tap on next tap on add action and search here for speak so here we have speak text right there and you can just enter the text right here so maybe say battery full so just like that you just type any text you want there click on next always disable this click done and you're good to go anytime your battery is charged at 100 percent it will let you know that your battery is now full now one of the coolest things that apple has added to the shortcuts app is the ability to change the orientation lock now that can be done automatically and you will have a ton of different options on how to do that you can do that per app basis so in this case i just want to enable orientation lock when i go maybe basically disable it when i go into youtube so this is based of course on how you keep it i'll always keep it turned off so when i want to just go ahead and create a personal automation here so let's say in this case we want to choose youtube so whenever i go on youtube it will automatically turn off orientation lock of course this for people that keep it on all the time so i'll just go ahead tap on add action and search for orientation lock so here we have orientation lock tap on toggle right there and tap on turn and then choose here turn off or on whichever one you want to do tap on next disable this of course and tap done now whenever i open youtube it will automatically turn off orientation lock but what it also does is that it will keep it off even when i exit youtube so what you can do here is just go ahead and create another automation that will basically do the reverse thing so you go here go to app and tap when it's closed and you basically diselect this and select this and then just choose basically the same actions that i just showed you guys and then you can have that of course whenever you exit youtube it will automatically turn it back on or for people like me that don't keep orientation lock on never i never do it of course i will probably just turn it on sometimes when i'm in bed with my iphone of course orientation lock is needed on that time and that place but 
you can do that as well automatically. You tap the plus button, tap on create personal automation, and you have here time of the day. So let's say I go to bed at around 11 p.m. I can just go ahead and enter here 11 p.m. and then tap on the next button. So again, we have here daily, weekly, whatever you wanna do, and just go back here, tap on next, add action, and just choose here orientation lock, and again, tap on toggle, tap on turn, turn it on, next, disable this, and just like that, every night at 11 p.m., it will be turned on automatically, so I don't have to bother with it at all. As I said, the charger and also the battery actions on automations are really, really useful. Now, one of them is, of course, the charger that lets you charge your iPhone faster by automatically turning on low power mode whenever you plug in your device to charge. You tap the plus button, create personal automation, and you will have here charger. When it's connected, go ahead, tap on add action, and just search for low. So here we have set low power mode to on, disable this, and you're good to go. Again, you can also create the reverse one, so whenever you unplug it, it will automatically turn off the low power mode. Now, a lot of time, if we're out maybe at school or at work, or you're just out for the day, you come home, you have not enough battery on your iPhone, but you just forget to plug it in. What you can do is with automations, have your iPhone remember you when to plug in your device to charge. So what you can do is tap the plus button, create on personal automation, and here have when I arrive, again, you just go ahead and choose your location, basically the location of your home, and tap the next button, and then just go ahead and search for speak. So here we have speak text, and just enter here, plug in your device, or plug in your iPhone to charge, or whatever you want there, and once you have done that, of course, click on the dumb button and you're good to go. Whenever you arrive home, your iPhone will let you know that you will have to plug in your device to charge. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some really useful iPhone automations that you can create on your device on iOS 14 and probably will use on daily basis. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one.